In this tutorial we are going to see how to do this type of stunning banner animation in Photoshop. So let's get started. The number of layers that we will be using to construct the animation is shown here. Here we have all separate layers of all objects. The Photoshop file of this work is in description for your practice. To begin creating an animation, choose motion from the workspace panel. Alternatively, open the window layer and choose timeline. Currently, you have two choices. First is to create a video timeline or the second is to create frame animation. Choose a video timeline. It creates intermediate images between key frames to create the illusion of movement. Here is the artboard we made. If we click on the artboard layer, the timelines folders are all visible. Ok, so we're going to begin animating the layers. Let's start with Christmas tree. Choose the layer you wish to animate. Make sure your layer is a smart object. Right click on any layer and select the smart object option. Now open layer, and you can get all the properties of the layer like transform, opacity, style etc. Make sure a layer is selected. Click on transform to create the first keyframe. Press Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac to select the free transform tool. Arrange a reference point from center to bottom. For scale, set the value to 1%. Move slider as shown in the video. Press Ctrl T or Command T. Set a reference point at the bottom. Change the scale value from 1% to 75%. Move the slider from the beginning and check the animation we created. We created a pop-out animation of Christmas tree by changing the scale value. Let's apply a swaying effect on Christmas tree. Move slider as shown in the video. Press Ctrl T or Command T. Set a reference point at the bottom. Right click on Christmas tree. And select skew. Place your cursor at the top of the bounding box. You can see the cursor change into a double side arrow symbol. Then apply small movements to the right side as shown in the video. Move the slider to the next position. Right click on the second keyframe. Choose copy, to copy keyframe. Right click on the keyframe and choose paste. Move slider ahead as shown in the video. Press Ctrl T or Command T. Set reference point to the bottom. Right click on Christmas tree. And select skew. Apply slight movements to the left side as shown in the video. Move the slider to the next position. Right click on the second keyframe. Choose copy, to copy keyframe. Right click on the keyframe and choose paste. Make sure the slider is in your desired position. Move slider as shown in the video to see a swaying effect on the Christmas tree. Copy and paste swaying effect keyframes to make the Christmas tree continue swaying throughout the video. Move the slider from the beginning and check the animation we created. Here you get both your transition pop out and the swaying effect of the Christmas tree. A similar transition you can apply to all other Christmas trees. Now, let's animate the snowflakes. Go to the snow folder. Open the folder and select the layer you want to animate. Here I'm selecting the snow one layer. Click on transform to create the first keyframe. Move slider as shown in the video. Press Ctrl T or Command T. Set rotate value to 180 degree to give a rotation effect on snow. 
Drag slider to the middle of the timeline as shown in the video. You can change the position of a snowflake manually or with a down arrow key. This will generate a new key frame. Move slider from beginning to examine the animation we created. We are not changing the position the value of the first keyframe and last keyframe they remains in their original position. We have changed the position of snowflakes by rotation. A similar transition you can apply for all other snowflakes. Now, let's animate the lights. Open the folder and select the layer you want to animate. Make sure the visibility icon of that layer is on. Open the layer you want to animate. Click on opacity to create a new keyframe. Move slider to right next. And set opacity to 0%. Move slider to right next. And set opacity to 100%. Drag slider as shown in the video. Copy all keyframes and paste it as shown in the video. Move slider from the beginning of animation we created. Here you got your blinking light transition. The same you have to apply for another light. Now it is time to animate the title. Open the title folders and move slider as shown in the video. Select Mary text layer. Click on transform property to create keyframes. Here we create two keyframes which have the same value of position. Move slider to the first keyframe. And press up arrow key to change position. Click on opacity to create keyframe. Set opacity to 0%. Move slider as shown in the video. Set opacity to 100%. Examine the animation we created as shown in the video. Let's animate Christmas text. Open the layer. Click on opacity and create two keyframes as shown in the video. Move slider to the first keyframe and set opacity to 0%. Examine animation. Drag slider as shown in the video. Open the deer layer to animate the layer. Click on transform to create two keyframes as shown in the video. Drag playhead to the first keyframe. Change the position of the deer to the left side. Click on the opacity and set the value to 0%. Drag playhead as shown in the video and set opacity to 100%. Move playhead and examine the animation we created. Apply the same transition on the second deer. Now time to animate last decoration layer. Open decoration layer, click on opacity. And set the opacity value to 0%. Move slider as shown in the video. And set opacity to 100%. Examine the title animation that we created. Congratulations guys. Now you can create this kind of stunning Christmas banner animation. You can also add this kind of snowfall to your banner. For this I have made separate video link of that video in the description. This method you can use for any of your future projects. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any question regarding this video feel free to ask in comment box. If you like the my video then hit like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification on every new video on my channel.
You can also follow me on Instagram the link is in the description box.